Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with the Sea Back with another video. And today's video is going to be a, a contest entry. This is for um, my friend Marty over at Metal Marty Mac, his channel. He has just reached 200 subscribers. Well, he's past 200 subscribers now. Um, and he's fairly new to the VC. So, as with all these, these contest entries, it's not about the entry to the contest. It's about showing support, and hopefully a few of my viewers, you know, you people watching, may go over and check uh, Marty's channel out. Great taste in music. He goes all the way from from glam metal to death metal. Um, he's, he's got a good taste, and he's got a, a very nice uh, vinyl collection. He shows a lot of vinyl, so I'm going to show some vinyl today. Um, he stipulated really show us three th show him between three and five um albums recommendations i've got a lot of albums in my collection that i could recommend um to marty um because like i say he's got quite a, a wide range in taste but you know me this is mark g with a c i'm only going to show you old school death metal uh, and i know marty likes that and maybe a few of you other guys uh, may be interested. I think there's a couple in here that I might not have shown before, not on any of my updates. So, um, yeah, I'll leave a link, as always, below to uh, Marty's channel. Please go and check him out. Congratulations on 200 uh, subs, Marty. And um, let's show you some fucking metal. We are drinking, whilst we're at it, some Ginger Tom Strong Ale. I like this on the label, it says um, Ginger Tommy's best served with good music Candlemas in the background, Robert Lowe era um, Vibrant People, which is obviously all of you people watching this because you're part of this amazing community and Optimism so uh, I'm feeling optimistic, you know um, so what a better time to drink a little bit of uh, ginger tom, strong ale. Cheers, everybody. It's like a strong ale mixed with ginger beer. It's um, different, but very good. Right, let's get in with this. Let's get in with this. Let's get on with this. First from Denmark. This is the band based or it's kind of like Beast, but the E and the A are back to front because they're a Danish band. So I don't actually know how you say it. So I'm going to go for Beast. And their uh, third album, Necro Sapiens. Look at that artwork. This is um, modern death metal, but with an old school sort of feel to it. Melodic. Um, very well produced. But it's got that old school sort of feel to it. You know, it's got a bit of a <clears throat> um, bolt thrower at times, ace fix kind of vibe going on, because it's, it's mainly mid-paced. But so this is their third album. Check out the other ones as well. Based, based, I, I don't really know how you say it, but um, that's always the way with a lot of these death metal bands, isn't it? Um, Sticker says, for fans of Morbid Angel and Bloodbath, Fair enough, I suppose, that. But yeah, very good. This is a 2021 release on uh, Century Media. Love that artwork. Based, based, based from... Um, if I try and say it in some kind of like clever accent and just say burst, I sound like I'm from Yorkshire, never mind Denmark. Um, next, we have got from... Let me put that there so I don't knock it over. We have got from Scotland, Glasgow, to be precise and the awesome Coffin Mulch and their debut album, Septic Funeral. Old school, raw, feral, loose, guttural, death metal. I mean, even look at even the artwork. It just looks, it's got, it's proper got Napalm Death written all over that. This isn't as heavy as Napalm Death. This is, HM2 pedal driven 
but not Swedish death metal. It's it's loose and it's it's autopsy, abscess kind of music. Um, again, look at that artwork. That is just fabulous, isn't it? So I don't really know if Marty goes as heavy as Autopsy, but um, I wanted to show this anyway because I think this is a great band, um, and they're from the UK. So I'm all uh, all about bigging them up. But yeah, check them out. Coffee Mulch, Septic Funeral. This is, um, I think this was released this year, early on this year. If it wasn't early on this year, it was late last year. I should have done my own work. I do write a few little notes down, you know, but uh, I didn't for that one. Coffee Mulch. Next up, we have got from Detroit, Michigan in the US. Um, 2017 release. And this is Temple of Void. Now, I know Marty likes Bolt Thrower, that kind of death metal, so this band should be right up his street. They are heavy as you like, soaked in atmosphere, just thick, chuggy, old school death metal riffs. This is my favourite album by uh, Temple of Void. This is their second, they've got three albums out, it's their second one. Um, 2017, like I said, on the Shadow Kingdom and Hell's Headbangers. Just a fabulous band. Um, the stuff's not always that easy to, to get over here. I had to, I had to buy these. Um, where did I get these from? I think I might have gotten from Shadow Kingdom Records, and it was just before the whole Brexit shit was going on, so all the... Um, tax and vat and all that bullshit that goes with it um well yeah the sticker says a uh, crushing and heavy death doom from detroit for fans of ace fix autopsy and bolt thrower that's got mark g with a seat written all over it i love this album lords of death temple of void um okay a little bit more of ginger tom Could have done with a little bit of a bigger bottle, really, because it's um, three swigs and it's nearly all gone. From Stockholm in Sweden, we have got Lick. Now, again, I'm sh pretty sure it's not pronounced Lick. It's probably like Lish or Leek or something, but I, I'll just sound like I'm from Yorkshire again saying that. This is their third album, Misanthropic Breed. Uh, released 2020 on Metal Blade. I have shown this, I think, before in an update, but um, I know Marty likes Entombed, he likes Dismember, he likes Grave, he likes that old school Swedish death metal sound. This is all of that. This is like the best of all of those bands. It's fabulous, it's, it's f fierce and fast, but also doomy and melodic. Um, lick or leash, however you say it, uh, means corpse or corpses in Swedish. Mark Riddick artwork, always a sign of quality. Like I say, their third album from, from last year, Misanthropic Breed. And last but not least, this is another band from Sweden. Um, and a guy I have gotten to know really well through making videos and social media, Peter. Um, he introduced me to this band. Um, saw the artwork. They're on the same label as Flesh Crawl, Apostasy Records. Um, yeah, the artwork just instantly drew me in. And this is the band Reincarnage and their album Reap. I think this is their debut. Yeah, it's their debut from... Uh, I didn't write the, name, the year down for that as well. I'll have to get it out and have a look. So, see if it's on the, uh, the record. Probably won't be, will it? No, it's not even on there. This is... Um, I don't see it anywhere. This is... Modern death metal. Death metal with a thrashy edge to it. Look at that artwork. Just the colour and everything. 
Um, again, fierce, modern death metal, so it's it's got that crisp production, it's got the blast beats in there from time to time, um, but it's also very melodic, it drops down a gear um, every now and again. Um, but yeah, really good, and like I say, it's kind of death metal, but with with the sort of thrash metal sensibilities, it, it, there's some riffs in there that you know you you, you very much say they're a thrash a thrash um, style. But yeah, reincarnage and reap, fabulous. Right, that's it. We have been playing in the background as I showed you before. Candle Mass, Death Magic, Doom, 2009, and Nuclear Blast, the Robert Lowe. Era. This comes with a, a DVD. So that's it, short and sweet video. Like I say, just wanted to show my support for Marty and his um, channel. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these five albums. If you don't know them, please go and check them out. I, I'm not just recommending them to Marty, I'm recommending them to anybody. All five of them are really good. Um, so, yeah. Check them out. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I'm going to go and finish off my uh, Ginger Tom. Lovely. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.